There were riot police at the intersection of each street that went south from Queen Street into the financial district, but they uh, didn't engage the protesters. They just watched them go by smashing windows and spray painting. From there, they turned south on Bay Street and started into the financial district. There were three police cars abandoned in the intersection at King and Bay. The black bloc started smashing the, the police cars and set one of them on fire. After around 15 minutes, they walked north on Young Street, smashing windows along the way. There were no police to be seen anywhere. The streets were full of people going, uh, just kind of doing normal things. At 4.20, they reached college where they smashed more windows on their way back to Queens Park. They also uh, uh, smashed some windows at a police station. When they arrived back at Queens Park, they had all huddled in a circle to remove their black clothing. Uh, and then after that, I just lost track of them. They kind of just uh, blended into the crowd or disappeared from that area altogether with burning uh, police cars, which is extremely, extremely suspicious uh, when you consider that these things were allowed to burn uh, for the media photo op. Uh, these cars were set on fire by the supposed black bloc anarchists, and I had been sent a photo from a good friend of mine at NAUresistance.org, uh, which shows that some of these black bloc guys had the same clubs that the police uh, were using at the front of the riot line. Well, I've seen um, the video and photos. They look like cops. And I said that two and a half years ago in Montebello. And headline, Royal Mounted Police admit that that was their officers. I forget the exact headline. But it's Royal Mounted Police admit their officers attacked other officers for the media. And we caught them in Denver. I said, look like provocateurs. Denver Post headline, uh, you know, police uh, post as anarchists attacked other police.